If you want to have the best trip ever to New York City, it pays to know some tricks. Today, I'll be sharing seven secrets every NYC tourist needs to know. These could make your experience a lot easier here, trust me. I want to show you guys something that not only do most tourists not know about, but even most locals. Link NYC. There's over 2,000 of these in the Big Apple. And until recently, I didn't even pay attention to it. But one of my smart viewers put me onto this and well, you've got to see. We've got a lot of functions on here that would help out a tourist, especially if you don't have a SIM card. Free public Wi-Fi. So click that button. All you have to do, go to your phone, Link NYC, bam. Basically, internet on the fly. Want to find a restroom nearby? You want to open up Google Maps, you're lost, go into your hotel. In an emergency, you've got access to 911. And did you know you can make calls anywhere in the US here? Watch this. Ben, you're late, where are you? I'm three stops away. One potential real use for locals even would be if your phone's dead and you have to make an important call. Or better yet, charge your phone. Who knew this thing did more than just show me the weather when I walked by? I'm all about tourists using paid tour guides on their trip to New York. There are some amazing ones, but did you know there is a free option that is really interesting? The Big Apple greeters. The goal of his volunteer program is for local New Yorkers to take around visitors and show them their neighborhoods, take them to their favorite places, get a different perspective than your typical tour of Midtown Manhattan. It could be anything from favorite parks, historic sites, architecture, street fairs, markets, little shops, and restaurants that make their neighborhoods unique. So there's 3,000 of these volunteers in New York City, and honestly, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, this sounds like the kind of thing I might have even been interested in doing. All you have to do is go to their website, apply, talk about who you're traveling with, and if they can match you with somebody, they will. It's not guaranteed, but remember, it is completely free. They don't even accept tips. What an amazing volunteer service that they're providing. Another service I wanna highlight is called Free Tours by Foot. I'm a huge fan of them. Now, the tours are technically free, but they use a tipping system, meaning you pay whatever you think the tours are worth, and their guides are fantastic, meaning you're gonna pay, but you are definitely going to get your money's worth. They have a lot of really diverse tours, Greenwich Village, Lower East Side. I've taken these myself in the past when I was a new New Yorker. This New York City secrets for my pizza lovers out there. Have you ever prayed for good pizza in one of the most touristy spots of Manhattan? Well, John's of Times Square is the blessing you were looking for. This is one of the most unique locations for a pizzeria anywhere in the world because we're inside of an old church. Well, let's do a, the, uh, a large traditional and let's add meatball and mushrooms. It's actually really trippy eating in here. I mean, as I turn my head and I look up, I see the ceiling of a church. It took them two and a half years to renovate this place, to turn it into a pizza spot, opened in 1997. The stained glass is original and cut into eight perfect slices, just like a pizza. Look at the little bits of mozzarella cheese on the garlic rolls, wow. Mmm. Garlic rolls are nice. Look at that. It's like a little baby. Now that I'm a dad, I'm holding a pizza like I'd hold my son. We did half, half cheese, half mushroom and meatball. Came out pretty quick, actually. All right, let's take a big bite. I've never been here before. Mmm. My prayers have been answered. A decent pizza place in Times Square. Who knew? You're a fan of that coal oven flavor. Nice little char on the bottom. I love John's Times Square. It's a be a good spot to go to. A little family, a date. And if you have a Broadway show, they're pretty fast here. Pre-show or post-show dinner. They're open till 11.30 p.m. Such a bad Catholic. Good pizza though. <laughs> now you may see the price tag and think, well, $25 for a pie of pizza, that's expensive. But did you know the average person spends $18? Because you could split these pies three ways, even four ways. This is the ultimate group activity. 
We're less than a five minute walk from Times Square and I am about to walk underneath a 17 foot long tunnel underneath a waterfall. All right, this wasn't placed here by accident. It's behind the McGraw Hill building called McGraw Hill Waterfall. It's like I'm in an aquarium right now looking up at this. This is absolutely unbelievable. One of my favorite secret parks in Midtown Manhattan and most tourists have never even heard of it. I mean, you have to look at the motivation for why parks like this were built in the first place. It was for Midtown office workers to have a place to relax, surrounded by all this chaos. You could stare at this waterfall, feel like you're somewhere completely different. Also a lot of tables here, so if you wanna get food from one of the halal carts, sit right here, beautiful view. Itinerary planning takes time, and a lot of you ask me for recommendations. I just don't have the time to do individual consultations. But the partner for today's video, I consider a New York City secret because they take that stress away. Ask Kansu. AskKansu.com is a team of NY-based trip consultants who tailor travel plans. I've mentioned them before and I highly rate them. Working with them is so easy. Complete a short form, describe your perfect day, and a dedicated trip consultant gets assigned to build your ideal itinerary. They're even available while you're in the city in case you need anything during your trip, like food delivery or reservations. Visit askkonsu.com backslash here be bar for 10% off. They're a game changer. Free museum days can save you a ton of money if you wanna to go to some of New York's best museums that sometimes have high admission charges. So there's actually just some museums that are always free. The American Folk Art Museum and the museum at FIT. One of my favorites is the Polanski Exhibition at the New York Public Library. Very, very cool. I have been there a couple of times. The Brooklyn Museum, first Saturday of every month, free from 5 to 11 p.m. The Frick Collection is pay what you wish admission on Thursdays from 4 to 6. The Jewish Museum, free all day Saturdays. This one's the most interesting. MoMA, first Friday of every month, free from 4 to 8 p.m. You need to reserve these tickets one week in advance on their website. The Whitney Museum of American Art, pay what you wish, Friday 7 to 10. The Neue Gallery, which is a museum dedicated to German and Austrian art from the early 20th century, first Friday of every month, 4 to 7 free. Smithsonian Design Museum, pay what you wish, Thursday through Mondays, 5 to 6 p.m. The Guggenheim, Saturdays, 4 to 6 p.m. is free. The New Museum of Contemporary Art, pay what you wish, Thursday, 7 to 9. The Museum of Arts and Design, two for one tickets, Thursdays, 5 to 8 p.m. Now, this isn't a secret for locals, but so many tourists have no idea that they really don't need their Metro card anymore unless they're using the air train. Omni, I've been pushing this for months and months. My Metro card is just collecting dust right now in my pocket in case my phone ever dies. Otherwise, if you have Apple Pay, if you have Android Pay, if you can do any contactless payments with your phone, this is how I go to the subway now. Just open this. That's it. Now I need to clarify something about unlimited OmniPay. Now if you're a local, you will never need an unlimited card again. As long as you start your rides on a Monday, once you get to ride number 12, the rest of your rides are free through Sunday. Now some of my viewers may still need unlimited cards for certain exceptions. If you arrive on a Wednesday and you're staying till a Wednesday, you may have to get that unlimited reset again, or if you have multiple people with you, you can only use Omni to get unlimited on one device at a time. So if you have like four people and you're staying in Queens, coming to Manhattan every day for a week, you actually still could use an unlimited card. Do you wanna see New York's most famous museum like a pro? In this video, we'll show you how to see the Met in two hours or less. Such a useful guide, make sure to watch it.